Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com and in this video I want to show you how to add the Google Ads tracking code to your GetResponse landing pages. So in the previous video we've created this 52.68% conversion rate landing page in GetResponse and now it's time for us to set up tracking for it, alright? So the first thing you're going to do is head over to your landing pages menu option here and then click on the three buttons next to, or the three little uh, dots next to the landing page you want to edit. Click on edit settings and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, as you can see, we've already set up the Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager codes. Make sure to check those videos out if that's what you're using. But for standalone Google Ads tracking, you're going to select this option here. And what you have to do is add the conversion ID and the conversion label ID. So let's head back over into our Google Ads account. You're going to click on Tools and Settings, click on Conversions. Now I assume that you already know how to create a conversion because I've created a video on that. Make sure to see that video if you have no idea how to create a Google Ads conversion. I take you from A to Z. But in this video, I'm going to quickly breeze through it uh, just so we can have some data to work with, okay? So I'm going to select any category here. Let's suppose this is a purchase. I'll say Purchase GR for Get Response. I'll say don't use a value. Again, if you want me to go into detail, check that video out. And uh, so this is the kind of option you will see once you already created your conversion. You can install the tag yourself, email, or use Google Tag Manager. Now you can click on install the tag yourself and you can just get these IDs here manually. So you will need this ID and you will need this ID right over here. To make things easier for you though, just click on use Google Tag Manager and all you have to do is add these values. So the first value we're gonna copy, go back into get response, paste it here. Let's head back over here. Let's grab this conversion value, head over into get response, paste it here. And we're done guys, that's it, okay? So we'll just click publish, there's nothing else to it. So now this page, if someone lands on this page, this conversion will fire. That's all there is to it. This conversion, this one that we named purchase, uh, it's it's going to fire in Google Ads, okay? So make sure if you are tracking like conversions, you add it to your thank you page or thank you confirmation page, right? Don't add it on your actual landing page like we did in this example, uh, just because then you'll see sales when someone goes to your landing page. So select your thank you page, select your thank you confirmation page and add this pixel there. You could also add conversions for someone, for example, just visiting your landing page. That's fine, that works. Um, but generally you would want to do this for people actually buying, right? And that's pretty much it. So if you go over back into your Google Ads account, make sure you also have the conversions column added, right? So click on, for example, ads. You would select columns over here. You can click on modify columns or just edit an existing one. Go to conversions and make sure you select this conversions option here. So I already have it over here. And that's how you'll be able to actually see your conversions in Google Ads. And that's it. That's how you add the Google Ads conversion tracking code to your GetResponse page. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Google Ads playlist and my GetResponse playlist where I go over um, everything you need to know about Google Ads, setting up campaigns, and then the same thing with GetResponse. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.